Hey gang, back again, FLX Beer Reviews, another episode of As the Beer Swirls, I'm Dan. I'm Mike, DK, rocking that Poshmark hat. What are we drinking? Ooh, listen, just because I love some gypsy juice, but that's not what we're here for today, is it? I thought it was like an online shopping website, but yeah, 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 We are here to review this beer. This is from the Finback Brewing Company, and this is their Orange Crush. It's a double India Pale Ale with orange in collaboration with Rar Brewing from Cambridge, Maryland. Uh, I have not had any. I know, like, I've seen a couple of videos. Joe from Beer Patrol did Rar. Of course he has. He's done it. Um, and then I subscribed to uh, 21090 Brewing. And okay. they're based in Maryland, and they get Rar like it's, you know, Going a shelfie. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. Well, I love the label uh, on this thing. Yeah, it's got yeah. a very 70s aspect to yeah, it. Yeah, it, 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 it's pretty dope. Um, so this is canned on a blue dot. A date? Yep. On a Just calendar. a date. Okay. Um, ABV? 8.3 ABV. All right. This thing's got like mandarin and blood orange in it. Or yeah, something. man. It's like, a, it sounds good. Uh, it says, be fresh, drink now, double IPA with mandarin and blood orange, mm. dry hopped with citra and mosaic. Blue brewed in collaboration with RAR. So. Yeah, nothing about this beer sounds bad, so I'm excited to get into it. Um, maybe there's some uh, chunks floating around in it. We'll find out. Probably not. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. We got a lot of. Let's see where we're at. Let's see if I eyeballed it right. I bet you did. You're a professional. We're not new to this. There's a little left. There we go. That's pretty dang close. We got it. All right. Badass can. Um, that is... Uh, it's kind of bright. It's orange juicy. Kind of tang looking. It's got a fluffy head on it. No, um, it, it definitely is bright. Yeah. Um, Looks like a watered down orange juice. Um, <clears throat> kind of compact bubbles. Not, not really... Large, yeah, dissipating pretty quick, yeah. So, um, it looks the part of a, a, a hazy IPA, um, yeah, looks yeah. good. So, uh, let's say we get a whiff, yep. Yeah. All right, okay, there's uh, there's some green in there. That's all, yeah, I'm that's all I'm getting. <laughs> well, the it's the green from the orange. If you smelled like if you're in an orange grove, like an orange tree. Like, uh, when my parents used to go to Florida, right, and they would go visit my grandparents, my aunt and uncle down there, they would come back and they'd have a bag of fresh picked, like, grapefruits and clementines and oranges okay. that they actually picked off the tree, and it still had some of the the stems on it. With the, ah, yeah. it's with a Venus aspect. Yeah, when, so when you open up the bag, that's what I'm getting. Okay, all right. That's, I like that. Um... It's definitely like a, a bitter citrus smell to it, and I like it a lot. Like, there's there is a nice earthiness to it. Yeah, it's a very pleasing aroma, as far as I'm concerned. Um, there's a slight berry aspect to it. Okay, really? I mean, I, I think berries are put in most beers, so I'm sure I'll get it at some point. <sighs> Uh, yeah, it smells good. Uh, I'm ready to dive in. So, cheers, buddy. That is a crisp. Wow, mouth. Very much so. Very crisp. Uh, that bittering that you said you smelled, mm -hmm. like you're getting that that green. Yeah. Uh, picked off the tree kind of bitterness like the pith uh grapefruity a little bit man yeah there's a tartness to this uh, that mm. grapefruit tart for those oranges I, that's got to be the blood orange um man that's that's good though it's really juicy it's really juicy it is i really like the the bittering rind aspect to it uh the citrus it's it's crisp um it's kind of on the underside of medium mouthfeel it's it's a little lighter than I thought it would yeah. be, but it's... There's just 
on the back end though, there's like this weird kind of like almost acidic kind of okay, like seltzery, like club soda. Yeah, bring seltzer. No, like club soda. That week is over. Like yeah, yeah, we're, we're done with seltzer. Yeah, week. seltzer. Never to be mentioned again. Uh, but a weird like club soda aspect, like the acidic kind of thing. Is that the, the back end? Is that the carbonation doing that? It might be. Okay. I the, what is, is that what they call carbonic acid? I don't know. Let us know. Yeah, I've heard please. the term. Because I don't know what it um, Yeah, I, I can get that. Uh, that green aspect kind of hangs out on the back of the throat for a little bit and kind of it comes through as a little, a little stiff. It's... This is good. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Do I think so, someone that hates IPAs is not going to like this? Because it, there's a lot of bitterness. It's too bitter. If, it's if someone bitter. is not a, a, a <clears throat> West Coast IPA fan, or even some of those, the East Coast IPAs that are not as hazy and they're getting a little more bittering aspect in it, they're moving away from like the new school New England yeah. IPAs. If, if you like juice, but you don't like bitter, probably not the beer for you. So like... Uh, I guess I'll just take you through my step by step real quick. I'm taking my sip. Very prickly and carbonation carbonated on the tongue, mm-hmm. almost like orangina. If you've ever had that drink, and you get a nice sweetness from the tangerine, like orange grapefruit family, right? Um, but then that bitterness just comes through and just takes over and follows through. And it doesn't finish clean. It finishes sort of drying, but it finishes with that bitterness still lingering. It's still lingering right now. And, you know, I took that sip, you know, what, 45 seconds ago. So it's still... What, 47? It's yeah. still there. And I think well after finishing this beer, if I don't cleanse my palate with anything, uh, I think it's it's going to continue to be there. I think you're right. I mean, you come for the beer and you stay for the portraits that Dan is painting. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to hang around. Uh, you got to cleanse the palate. You know, they something. sell this stuff like for like cryptocurrency, like call it like DFS or something like that. Okay. I think I might sell this for it, it's, it's art, the portraits. Art's subjective. Um, what do you give, what do you got a rating on this bad boy? Man. Give it a 4-1. I was going to give it a 4. I'm going to go into the camp of Regopolis here for a second. Okay. So let, let, let's, let's, berries. let's ride our horse into the camp. Giddy up. Right? I'd like this a little bit more creamy. Like for 8.3, I'd like the body to be a little thicker, maybe a little less carbonated. Maybe benefit from a little lactose. Is that what you're getting at? Or? I don't want lactose. No. Just fucking oat the shit out of it. Okay, yeah, I can see that. All right. I just I feel like 8.3, it's a little thin. That's why it's a 4.1. If this was a little thicker, I could deal with the carbonation if it just had a little bit more body to it. I think it'd bump up at least to a 4.4. Four. All right. So, well, there you go. Right. So, Mike, uh, first fin back beer? Yeah, first fin back beer. It doesn't disappoint. It's great. I want to try more from the brewery. Um, this is a good beer. Despite... It may have seemed like we were coming down on it a little yeah. bit. It's still a good beer. But I'm just I trying, like it a lot. I, we really want to paint the picture for somebody that maybe doesn't drink a lot of beer. And they're kind of getting into craft beer or just curious to really, so they know what's going on. Like, I don't want a craft beer drinker that is used to an IPA or a New England, New England IPA. They're saying, oh man, I'm getting passion fruit. I'm getting all this stuff. Yeah. And then somebody that doesn't drink it. They just take one step like, what are you talking about? Where do you get that? Yeah. Because all they get is the bitterness and stuff. So I feel like you really got to acclimate your your palate. But once you get past that bitterness, I think that's when you start getting all the the, the fruits. and. Yeah, I got to agree with you on that because I think beers like this that definitely have the look of a juicy beer. Uh, you look at the label, you know, it's got oranges in there. So the name's Orange citrus. Crush. Yeah, you're thinking citrus, but it's definitely far more bitter than... Your general New England IPAs and citrusy beers. So, hey, we're just here doing Let our you part. Know what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what. You can let us know what's going on by commenting down below. Maybe give us a like, subscription, subs. 
Um, all that stuff. Uh, talk to us on the, the social medias, the untaps, the Instagrams, the Twitters. Mm-hmm. Let us know if you've uh, you've had an experience similar to this, or uh, let us know if you like a certain television yeah. show. It doesn't matter. Anywhere you go, baby. Hashtag yeah. FLXB reviews. Absolutely. You'll find us. Smash that like and hashtag. Just put up that bat signal. We'll be there. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.